Autodesk Moldflow has the ability to simulate the mucell process with Corvac. In the plastics industry, lightweighting is a big topic. This has driven a lot of attention to technologies like microcellular injection molding or mucell from Trexel. This technology can create parts much lighter versus those made with the conventional injection molding process. A variation of this process, which includes a slight opening of the mold or core back, can drastically improve on the mucell process. The movement of the core creates a low pressure in the melt, which stimulates the bubble growth. The image on the left shows conventional injection molding with a solid plastic part. The middle image is representing conventional mucell. The conventional mucell process adds measured quantity of gases, such as liquid nitrogen, into the melt. The pressure drop seen in the molding process will cause the gas to come out of solution and form bubbles. The image on the right is showing core back. In this process, the foaming is stimulated by opening the core side of the mold a small amount post-filling stage, creating a very regular, large cell foam core. This results in a stiffer, lighter weight part than can be achieved by either conventional injection molding or conventional mucell process. So here we have a conventional injection molded part. Notice the final mass of the part. Now we will look at the same part using conventional mucell. Let's inspect what is happening on the inside of the part. We will look at the bubble radius and use a cutting plane to see the part's interior. As we animate over time, we see the part filling and now the foam structure starting to form. The bubble radii is very tiny, which is to be expected. This is the same part run using the core back process. After filling, when a sufficient frozen layer has formed, the core side of the mold is moved back. This creates a low pressure on the interior of the core, which promotes the growth of bubbles. By comparing this core back process to the conventional mucell process, we can see the bubble growth is significantly higher than the standard mucell process and much more uniform throughout the thickness. We can also compare density. With the core back process, we see a mass drop in density, which will equate to weight savings. In this example, we took a typical injection molded part and first applied mucell to it. We then applied the core back process to it, resulting in a stiffer part with the same weight as with the mucell. But utilizing simulation, we can start to experiment with an initially thinner part that after the core back process will have the desired dimensions, but with a very significant weight reduction compared to the initial solid molded part.